Hey, and it's also the finals of this group. This best of three determines which of these two is going to fall and which of these two will get through to day three of Gfinity. Spawning here in the southern spawn location, it's going to be the Yoey Flash Wolves red Protoss player's son. In the top position as the blue Zerg, it's Root Tydra. Okay, so first thing I got to imagine is I, ima I like to imagine the Root House as like, for Zerg specifically, like, Cats is like, I don't care about Protoss or Terran, right? But for Zerg specifically, Cats probably runs like training drills with these guys. We're like, all right, Hydra, you got to practice 20 up and downs with like versus Protoss all in specifically. Uh, or using things like gold bases on maps like this. San, on the other hand, while he did show some really tremendously strong attacks and good games versus Solar, ultimately did lose. And one of the things he lost to was, of course, Solar's gold base play on Banner Research Station. Mm hmm uh, I'd love to know if Hydro is able to talk to Solar. Maybe that's why it takes a while to get in the what? lobby. Just kind of catches yeah. him on the side. Hey, Solar, Solar, come here real quick. <laughs> so what'd you do, do with wonder. this guy? You know, Hydra, um... It's so hard to believe that Solar is on, like, a Kespa team, because Samsung Galaxy was never as strict as other Kespa teams. Like, you know, like, you never see anyone from KT or Ulster in the Lima League, but you saw a lot of guys from uh, Samsung Galaxy. But thankfully, Hydra and, and him were both on uh, Kespa for a while before Hydra, of course, moved to Root. So mm. I'm surprised that there was some, you know, buddy-buddy, like, hey, we have this past. Give me the deets. It's funny you bring it up like that, because, yeah, Samsung Galaxy... Just uh, again, kind of shout out to them. They're like the first ones to really reach out at the foreign scene, put and go for Starcraft, Zotax, you name it. Yeah. But, okay, so this is Zella coming towards that third, or natural, I guess. Sorry, I don't want to call it the third. Uh, but with the Queen on the way and a couple links coming out, I don't imagine it's going to massacre it. Uh, probe Dusk got the main. In fact, Zell's not even going in. <laughs> a awkward. So now that Son has already faced this once, at least today, I'm sure he's faced it multiple other times and, you know, ladder and whatnot, does he change his plans on how to deal with it? Because what happened the last time was that they got a good economy on three bases, including a gold. They did a Roach Hydra attack and he ran out of storms and he lost. Like, bim, bam, boom, right? Hopefully, that's not his plan here. You know, the exact same thing is probably going to happen. Although, you really do have to pay attention because there are, like I said before, two different variations of the gold base. You could go for heavy attack sooner. Or, you know, a little bit more macro and a really big attack later. But you got to be keeping an eye on which one it is as Sun. Gets past the Zealot. I mean, it was whole position on the ramp, but it was like a, you know, a ramp, not a Sim City situation. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward. Farling's popping in the base, though, should be cleaned up by the Mothership Core, especially by the Stalker follow up. Uh, Queen is still fending off the Zealot over here. I think he got like one kill. Yeah, kill one drone. Yeah, not bad. Uh, so Hydra does take the third as his third. <laughs> Leave the natural for your fourth base. Very secure fourth base. Yeah, should give him go on that late. That's a pretty smart move. Now, I have to ask, because I have not been keeping up with chat, but I was curious, why are people linking you pictures of caper tosses? <laughs> because I was telling everyone how many like, sports I did and that I was a thrower. And uh, people were like, well, you're not <laughs> in a real thrower unless you've thrown a tree. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I'd love to throw a tree. I only know what caper tossing because of Curse of Monkey Island or whatever. There's like the Scottish barber that's done like, uh, okay. Anyways, so that was a weird jog of my memory when I saw that picture, basically. There you go. There you go. Well, we have a lot of links in the way. So let's be able to tear down a quick third should Son, should Son think he could get away with it because of, you know, Hydra's own build. It should Whoa. not be able to get into the main. What, really if, shouldn't. what I find interesting is we did talk about Sun and splitting Stalkers last time pretty heavily, and this is one of those maps I really would have expected. Like, if you're going to go for Blink Stalkers, this is one that you can make it happen. Uh, Link's going to get caught here. It could be a bit annoying. He will die, but that. Uh... Okay, so it's an Oracle getting chronoed out, but waiting to see those six or seven gates come down behind it. Uh, Lair, Roach, run on the way for Hydra. Does need a few more drones where we can really feel comfortable basically stop drawing right so on a gold base that can be you know 50 55 and you're actually pretty good for a long time in the game it's supposed to you know 60 65 but roaches probably into hydras probably into a viper much like what solar did and sanj is gonna have to basically react better <laughs> play a better game he's looking to expand with three gateways and a forge on the way Oracle not doing much, but is telling him, well, 
basically, hopefully, we'll see the roaches and how many roaches there are. Whether it's going to be like a big roach attack or if he's has the opportunity to wait for hydras or what. So they're all like, they've all been hit by the mothership for once, so they're all kind of missing health, but not really. I'm able to tear down the third, not with the sentries already there. So, okay, Hydra has officially at this point gotten away with the gold base. His yeah. income isn't exactly destroying Sans, but it's still really just nice to have the space out. And again, by taking this earlier, it's the much safer fourth you taking your natural uh, towards the end of the game, should it go that long. I am curious, once again, whether it will go that long. Sans trying to take a third right now, but you know, he is struggling. This isn't like a fake third. This isn't like he's just joking around. I mean, he doesn't really have a lot behind this. This is a void right out of the way. Kind uh -oh. of desperately. Sentry's getting picked off here by Ling's. Sentry's getting picked off here by the uh, Roach attack. I mean, this... This was a really small attack out of Hydra, but it hits at just the perfect time. Well, that's something that the Oracle should have seen. You yeah. know, like it kind of failed its job. It didn't kill any drones and didn't see an attack. Very small one, but one that you at least get a little more prepared for. He loses all but one sentry. Well, force builds. an asterisk on that's not real, so he is going to lose that sentry. <laughs> no! He loses every single sentry. And the Voider is like, am I late? Hey guys, what's the up? The party was at 10 minutes, not 10.30. Okay, there's a Zelt in the wall, I wasn't sure. It looked a little bit messy. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't go for the Zelt in the wall, he wants to kill the probes. And Sans transfer is going to get caught. And for Hydra, I mean, this game is just going really well in a lot of different ways. You don't usually luck out this badly for some protests, but timings have been really on his side. With units being out of position in his favor, I mean, Sans just doing a lot of things wrong. And Hydra is capitalizing on every single one of them. So not Roach Hydra, but rather a Roach attack into Mutas. And, you know, Roaches well, and Lings being the uh, the second attack. It was already Roach for Hydra, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, you, you kid's his name is Hydra. Get it, get it. <laughs> it's like, uh, that, it's so, like when you figure out how a Chinese finger trap works out, you're just like, whoa, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Like their face, yeah. Um, so what's interesting here is that Son is basically blindly guessing that it's going to be Roach Hydra Viper again. I would say because uh, you know, no blink, but Storm actually not what you want against Mutas. Storm is actually kind of a uh, abs obsolete, obsolete. There you go. Versus Mutas, uh, it, it can help. So bad, but it's though. really so the reason I say yeah. this isn't because you have to of the have storm. chasers though. You have to have something that chases and actually kills them with the final blow. Right, right, but that's what I'm starting to think about those Archons, right, when it comes down to an actual fight, a couple of Phoenix coming out here and there. I mean, at first I was a little bit worried, because you're like, okay, there's so many Roaches, what the Storm's going to do, but tickle them. But with the Void Ray's out, he's got enough to deal with those. If the Mutas do come, I really think they a couple are. Archons here and there, uh, the Phoenix coming out, is, I mean, this should be able to deal with the initial bash of them, at least. It's yeah. really not that many. And he's, he's not even committing to it. This is like a... Um you know, like, oh, show my roaches, then go mutas. But the root, the mutas are actually the fake, not the roaches. So I just doubled, you know, blinded you or something. I don't know. The mind games are I pretty good. I super mind gamed you, man. It is roach, hydra, viper, but I don't know about this one, right? Because, like, you do now have what you need against roach, hydra, viper, which is a lot of storms, charge, and upgrades. It's still not blink, but, I mean, it's not like... It's not like you're catching them with 50 phoenix and nothing else. Yeah. Like, you, you tricked them that badly. Uh, bets, by the way, are finished at this point, so I'm going to read them out before I forget. We got about 10,700 on Sun and 11,500 on Hydra. So, very similar accounts to the bets, but uh, still pretty pretty high nonetheless. Well, there is the uh, the Robo. Of course, you want to get come some Colossus eventually, like when I get to the end game composition. Observers as well. Yeah, unlike Legacy of the Void, Colossus are still viable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. Are the mini maps still visible? Hmm. Let's take about as many, many shots as possible here, real quick. Yeah. Trying to do as much as possible while they still aren't just one, I guess. <laughs> Five can still do something. But it is Roach, Hydra, Viper. They're going to have even upgrades, it looks like, because both of their armor is on the same path here. Uh, just that Hydra's going to have a much bigger army. Much bigger, but it's yeah. inflated. It's not as good. A couple of storms and suddenly the my the hydras melt. Order is about the roaches. So everything goes well. This is a tricky situation, though. San probably doesn't realize the hydra is on hive deck. 
Oh no, I actually take that back. He's the, at least he saw the layer transform me at some point. Hallucinating Phoenix or such. Even then, though, it feels like everything he's gearing towards right now is defending against what he just recently saw as a threat. Like, Storm's with Sandy for a second. Like, if these Broodlords actually come, what stops them? The non blue yeah. Stalkers? <laughs> it sounds like a taunt, you know? Like, oh, what are you gonna do? Blink under me? Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> That's of course the time when Blink's almost done, but it's gonna be an air transition out of Sun by the looks of it, so lots of Voyagers can work. Storm's gonna be okay for damage as we see. Uh, feedback's of course gonna be a big necessity, but Blinding Clouds do go down, he's gonna just back away from it. Uses the Storm once again, Pepper Samuda's there on the left side, but he's hitting a lot of the roaches he needs to be connecting to those so Hydras. So many storms! No amount of splitting can, can deal with this. It's just... it's silly. It's not as bad it's as when you watch Bio Melt, but yeah, this is still pretty bad. As yeah. Hydra just kind of gives oh. away a lot of units. Yeah, San gave away most of his buffer while caught, so a lot of zealots and whatever, like, stalkers were sprinkled in. But he kept all of the Archons and High Templars alive, so I wouldn't consider that bad for him. Uh, the only thing that's bad is, of course, he is getting a little... He's kind of like, you know, he can't expand, right? So this fourth base, should he get up, that's great, but... Maybe it won't. Maybe that should have been a Hydra's attack, not the one right into the bat, uh, the uh, the army. <clears throat> what do you think about the war prism here? Yeah, it's a good move. Why not? It's gonna hopefully give you some more breathing room to get oh that nexus up and easy. Well, I mean, you breathing room. You warp in like nine zealots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the mutants will eventually clean this up, but it's only about five of them. It's not that scary. How about the big attack on the left side of the map? Time warp goes down. A couple storms to kite these units back. Archons. Just dealing tons of damage on the front lines, and once again, it's the Hydras he really needs to get into with the storms. He's still got a couple more left. Uh, Far from finish on the storms. I don't see Archon's being pulled that often, and I'm so surprised that Hydra is dealing. Like he's doing it. Like I don't know. Like a Terran, should they see six uh, High Templars with all their energy, they don't push into that without ghosts. They're just like no, no, no. So I would ex I would have expected Hydra to see that not push in until he had Broodlords in this situation. Since Swarm Hosts are not really something you do anymore. But actually pushing in, taking decent engagements, killing the fourth? Hydra's looking like total baller. Yeah. Of course, he would be used to splitting and attacking into storms as a Broodlord player, wouldn't he? <laughs> Elite is the measure's finest. Hehe. <laughs> That's not hallucinating things, they are real, so a little bit annoying, but nothing too dangerous. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, upgrades, by the way. Going to be 3-2 versus 3-1, surprisingly in the favor of the Zerg. Yeah, actually, it's funny you bring that up, because most of the games we watch today haven't had beyond plus one upgrades from any Zerg player, really. Mm hmm That's true. Oh, this is still a very scary, like... Hydra's doing cool things and actually he's gonna get a little stuck here, but it is a situation where his army isn't getting any better unless he can get those Broodlords out, which he's only now making the Corruptors. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that for timing-wise, but, you know, again, look what's coming across the map. Look at this push. It's not that scary for Hydra, I don't think. And certainly an army that's slow enough that he could, could, could possibly have Broodlords popping just in time. Either way, Midas in the main, not exactly a huge amount, but they do kill Stalkers, so no defense just yet out of Sun. Oh, and San isn't going to continue the push, so there's plenty of time for Broodlord to get out. Now, this could be both good and bad, though, right? Like, okay, the Void Ray is going to be revealed. Does this scare him? Does this spook him too much to go for Broodlords, or does it just prompt him to make even more anti air? You know, more Corruptors, more Hydras. Uh, eight Broodlords on the way. No melee upgrades for them, but that's fine. Again, the thing about Broodlings is more about the fact that they are just kind of free army, uh, a la Locusts, than they are so much about dealing tons of damage. Yeah. Now the Phoenix has scout this, but San's already doing the best he can against what he figured is going to be Broodlords. Uh, still has a lot of storms in his pocket, so taking care of the Roach Hydra army is easy enough, but and then you have to decide you use the storms on the Broodlings and survive long enough to attack the main army, or do you just lose the Broodlings and then use them on the main army? Like, There's not really a good situation here, unless the Void Rays can work some magic. I'd say if there's like two more Archons in the base, you probably just deal with Broodling like, straight up. But that's still, it's really hard to justify getting two more Archons just for that. It's a lot of, a lot of gas, plus those Stable Bar. And it looks like this base is probably gonna get cancelled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. San never been in a comfortable position this entire game, ever since he, you know, kind of had to let the, the gold base go. 
Well, the Broodlords are making this very difficult. Of course, no Blink Stalkers to chase the Broodlords. The Void Ray is still kind of slow. No Corruptors, though, and the Meters just get melted. So I think ah, that Sod... Look at those Void Warriors just go ham on the Broodlords. It. Jesus. Uh, Queen's actually managed to take out one, but oh, there go all the High Templar, and suddenly it's back in a Hydra's favor. Whoopsie. So warp in towards the main. Double Zealots in that natural base. I mean, it's really a fifth base, but still inside the natural base, doing a lot of damage. Hydras are going to slowly push this back. It looks like Hydra will take game number one. Woo!